Run for the Show podcast. Well, this is a really funny story because, of course, our younger guitar player, Dave, um, he's been like indoors. He's been like a friend of Marshall since he was like, I think, 13. Oh, so wow. since he's really young. So we've always, ever since the band started, we've had the bit of a backing from Marshall, like, albeit it wasn't official in the start, but we used to pop up to the factory. They had a big theater we used to jam in. They helped us out with some gear, you know, they always serviced our gear. They sent, of course, they own the Tell Drums. Yeah. So, of course, they had some loan stocks. So they said, oh, do you want a drum kit? I'm like, of course. Yeah, I'm not yeah. going to turn that down. Yeah. yeah. So they sent me a drum kit. Uh, they sent Dave, um, Dave Kettle, they sent me a new bass rig. So we've always had that good support from Marshall. And then, and then it got to the stage where we we're talking to him and I, yeah, we need to we need to do an album now because we had, we had done an EP and a two track single as well, and it's like it's time to do an album. They said, "All right, what you got in mind?" I said, "Well, we don't know. We we got like twelve songs ready to record, but as you know, when you're a young band, financing an album is quite a struggle. Definitely, you know. Yeah. And and this was um, I can't remember what year it was now, but it was before Marshall Records was a thing. But basically, they agreed to kind of sponsor an album for us so nice. they said uh oh. so we had to uh we played the tracks in front of the uh the big boss who we know really well but uh that was the most daunting show of my life playing in front of like one person you know just in this big room trying to get like the seal of approval from him so yeah and then he said yeah sounds great let's um let's try and get you in the studio so they had uh, a chap up at marshall called uh Luke, who knew a guy called Rob Cass really well, who works from Abbey Road Studios, he said, let's go have a meeting with my mate Rob. And we thought, ah, it's just, it's just, we'll go meet someone and we get to go in Abbey Road, which is cool. We had no idea that we're going to, we're going to end up recording in Abbey Road, which we did. Right, I didn't know that. That's yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So volume one, the first album was recorded at Abbey Road Studios. We recorded it in Studio 3, where they recorded Dark Side of the Moon, albums like that. So that was that was absolutely mad. That's and amazing, yeah. Yeah, it was just, it was absolutely crazy. So all this stuff happened. Marshall agreed to do the album. And then when we found out it was Abbey Road, we're like, oh, shit, you know, we're like, we're like a really young band. We haven't done much like, of notoriety yet. We've done a few local shows, a couple of like local supports for like semi big bands, but nothing huge at this point. And yeah, that was crazy. So we did the album, that was all finished. And it was like, well, yeah, we've got an album. Now what do we do with it? Mm -hmm. And Marshall said, well, we, we had a bit of a plan. So um, they brought on another chap, Steve Tannett, and um, who's now the, uh, the boss of Marshall Records. And they said, yeah, we're going to form a label and you're going to be the first band signed to it. So they kind of, um, Marshall Records was created around us, which was That's really insane. bizarre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 